Was that an apple? Maybe. Wait. Oh yeah, you're right. Apple. Y'all, I can't wait to cook again. That <laughs> was so satisfying. See, can I just drop sort? Okay, so I guess sort by type. All right, so can I? I don't remember how to eat. All right, I don't have a mount. Let me see weapons. I guess we just have to do that. I shouldn't be able to eat that. Okay, I can't, but I can hold it. It's gonna say, what? Okay, we gotta explore around here a little bit more. Can't wait to cook again in Zelda, because as far as I can do good, <laughs> I mean, it's fun to cook in video games. Can't carry any more melee weapons, oh. All right. Job knocking over that tree. Whoa. Oh, okay. This is pretty cool. You can't hold the bank. Yeah. But what if I want to eat it? You know? Okay, bye. Bye. The sounds in this game are very satisfying. the delicious smells. I assume so. 
Ingredients are especially fragile when roasted by a fire. Oh, fragrant. Yes, not fragrant. <laughs> they may also be tastier and more nutritious. <laughs> I would not know. Oh, you are unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain anything that first-time visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside a fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. There's a mushroom! Oh, toasty sky mushroom! The heat brings out its flavor and increases the amount of health. Ah, well, there you go. Oh. So... Do I just drop it then? I, 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 that might be too close. My bad. I gotta finish it. I think that's enough for now. Let's go do some more exploring. I will when I drop this. Uh, drop. out there it looks like but oh well they're yeah they're very pleasing to the ear
Denied? That door will open only to those with sufficient power. Oh, how convenient. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was oh. I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I oh. am Raru. Oh, thanks, man. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. He's so cool. Oh, I like that. Cool. All right, uh, I just need to run to the bathroom real quick. I gotta pee, um, so I'll be right back.
I'm back with a snack. I thought I would eat and then I would not be hungry anymore. But that's just not how it works, apparently. Yeah, sushi. Oh! Hell yeah! Dude! Hold on, there's more. Shooting a bow in this game is so fun. I think it's the best bow mechanics in any game I've ever played. For real, it is one of the highlights of the game. Just want to make sure I don't miss any arrows because it's literally the best. It's incredible. So like you like lock onto something and then you move around the controller to aim. It's so good. It's so freaking good. It is. It's actually incredible. See what I mean? It's so good. It's so fun. Oh my god. It just it just works. Gotta remember the controls.
So you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. <laughs> now then, extend your hand. Ultra hand! Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Hell yeah! <laughs> mm. This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Ha <laughs> ha! Mm. Use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from this shrine. God, he's so cool! Activate. The ability to create. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oh, there's the arrow. Let's go get it. To get up there, I can't. I mean, I can't just climb up here. Hold on a second. Oh. 
See, that's a nice bead. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be so fun! <laughs> Amber. Fossilized resin with a caramelesque sheet into it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times! Yo! This is so cool! There's a hook, and that. So that hook goes on here, and you. Okay, so I need to build a platform to go across on. I get it. I get it. All right. Uh. <laughs> Um, uh, rotate. So, <laughs> yeah, I did it. <laughs> I did it. Oh, that's so cool. That is so, so cool. Oh. oh, that's deep. Okay. Oh! You have done well to reach this place. Offer you this light that will cleanse you of evil. Is it a tear or is it something else? No, just light. Crystal light, a uh, crystal that glows with the light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. That's so cool. Whoop! May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> And you need to dive from the sky. Okay. <clears throat> you did very well getting through that shrine, and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins. Then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Pura Pad offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. Alright. Uh, press and place a pin. How convenient. Oh. Fog's rolling in.